Welcome back guys, now in this post uh, we have uh, the post, three posts showing up here I added uh, two more posts here now it says uncategorized, you can create a categories by going on any of these posts in here you can add any category you want it's the problem, like, sorry categories here, so add new, if I say here uh, WordPress and uh, hit enter we get it, we remove the uncategorized and update and if I go to posts um, it's a WordPress, you can update it that way. Now we have here the posts. Now what we want is read more and it should go to a single post and I should see the full content. So to do that, first of all, we need to create a read more button. So in this, I want to do it just like right, uh, below here. So we say here a uh, button. And we can give it a class of BTN. BTN info. This is the bootstrap class. If I refresh, we get this. Now, we, our button doesn't have anything inside it, so if we say read more, okay, we can refresh. We have read more button here, but it's not going to do anything. You can see I'm clicking on it, nothing happening. We need to provide it in href, so we say uh, we need to provide an anchor tag right here. So I open an anchor tag. Well, there is a PHP function that we need to work with. So we are going to put it here, and here I say PHP, if we, and we say the underscore perma like, it's a function. Refresh, go on the top of it, so we, if you see the right uh, left uh, bottom corner here, you will see that uh, the link is updating. Post 1, post 2, post 3, now if I click on it, we go to the single post. Now, it is not showing us the complete content so far, and we are getting the read more, which is not good. We don't want that. So, the WordPress, the single page is responsible in coming from the single.php. Now, we are not having, we don't have any single.php, if you see here, we don't have. So, we create that. So, I create here single.php now this code is going to be similar to index.php so I'm going to control here and I'm going to control paste here now instead of excerpt we want full content so we say the content and we don't want read more now we need to go back and refresh now go into any of the posts it's still not doing it, it's, uh, it's like it's showing read more because in the code we already have edited it, we removed uh, uh, the problem mainly was that, that uh, in the folder directory we have JS and CSS file, if you notice that uh, the single .php is not here because it is inside JS, so we need to move that and it's not accessible and that's the reason it's not showing up there so if I go back and refresh again and go in here, we get our post and the content, the complete content. There is no read more anymore. To make sure that this is the same file, you can go here and you can say you know, like anything you want to, to put, like yeah, single .php. This is one and refresh so you get that here. So the file working fine. So you in the text editor make sure you take care of all these things. Uh, another thing we need to make sure here that we have WP head cutting calling out here like this and this is not the right way to do it we need to create two files so I'm going to create one first here and it's gonna okay, it here straight away so it's going to be header dot php it should be here outside now also want another file footer dot php so what we need to do we need to go into header and so say html and there should be HTML syntax like this. It should be the way. And this body ending, we should take it to a footer. Now, these functions that we are calling on top, we need to call the same functions. We need to call in header just below the title so that uh, if WordPress wants to include any scripts, WordPress can include uh, those scripts without any problem. So, I save that. Now, go here back and uh, pick this up. And you've got it off actually. We don't want it here. It's not uh, that we want. So in footer, I create uh, 
before closing before and inside we put our I guess we need to uh, open the PHP tag here to make it work okay let's save and we have header and footer set up so we can call here the header and footer and then the right way to do it is get underscore header and similarly we need to go at the bottom of this page and here we say get underscore food. Okay, the same thing we have on index.php, so we need to change that just like this. So it goes here. So make sure you remove the WP footer in header or head so that we don't want that anymore. Now, if we refresh, everything should work just the way it was working before. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. So, my next video, we will proceed from here and see how to show the author categories and everything. Have a nice day.